Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, um, I haven't had that video in a while. And I just thought I'd decide to, to do something like this. So what I, hang on just a minute. Okay, that's good. So what I decided to do, um, for today I decided to do a video of me previewing the grand final. Like who's going to win, who's going to win the Norm Smith medal. Um... And who's going to score the first goal. So I think this game, as I'm speaking right now, is Friday. Um, the day before the game. Um, so this is obviously a massive, massive game. It's West Coast versus Collingwood at at um, the MCG. Of course, it's going to be a massive, massive, massive game. Um, and it's one that a lot of people are looking forward to, of course. All three fans are. Um... So this game, um, look, I, I think it's going to be a very, very good game. I think it will be, I think it will be um, very, very tight. Um, for the past couple of years, the Melbourne team has gone on to win the grand final, um, which has sort of been a bit of a disadvantage towards, you know, all the travelling teams like West Coast and Adelaide last year when they lost against Richmond and when Sydney lost to the Western Bulldogs and West Coast, when they lost to Hawthorne um, a few years ago. Um, so it's all, ever since like 2012, it's ever since Sydney won against Hawthorne, it's always been the the Victorian club winning. Um, but let aside from that, let me get onto the game. So this is going to be a little bit interesting, to be honest. Um, I think Collingwood, look, this um, I think... You look at this on paper. They are probably the favourites to go on and and probably win this game. Um, I think them going from thirteenth to the premiership would be unbelievable. Um, last year, Richmond did that, where they finished thirteenth in twenty sixteen, and then last year they went on to win the premiership. I'm talking about Richmond here, um, and then for Collingwood to do that, that would sort of be a similar scenario. Um, I think Nathan Buckley has done brilliantly this year with Collingwood. Um, and he's just because of the fact that, you know, this year they had a lot of injuries like Adam Chalor and, and uh, Tyson Goldsack was out for pretty much the whole year. And um, there's there's other there's other stories as well in there. And look, listen, they, they've had lots of injuries along the way this year. Um, I think one of the highlights of the year, definitely Jaden Stevenson. Um, definitely him coming in, you know, it was his first year. Not really too many people thought that he would be um, as good. But he came out and played like um, an absolute star in his first year. And he definitely deserved the, the rising star. Um, Mason Cox, look, listen, I saw his game last Friday and I, I don't know how West Coast is going to stop him, seriously. Um, I think he is... A very very tall unit down there. I think he's. I don't think anyone can stop him. I think he's just too tall. I I don't think McGovern will be able to stop him. I don't I don't know. I don't know who's gonna stop him um tomorrow, but seriously, he's a massive massive guy. And if Tom Barras can't stop him, then Jeremy McGovern won't stop him. Even even with him taking those uncontested marks. And you look at you look at Mason Cox on Friday night. He took eight contested marks. And that's that's gonna be very very hard to beat. Um, if West Coast are gonna go on to win. But in my opinion, I don't really think that there, there is a favourite um, in this game. I don't think there's a favourite in a grand final. There's no such thing as, you know, a team that's favourites. I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's that... I don't think there's a thing of, you know, that team is a favourite going on to... to um, I, don't think a, I don't think there are odds in a grand final. I think any team, both of those teams can win it. There's no such thing as odds. Both teams are favourite. It's always 50-50. Um, but, I don't know. I think it, it just always is like that. But I think um, I'm going to get on to my predictions. So, the team that I think will win, I think Collingwood will win by... Um, I'm just trying to think of a good scoreline. I think Collingwood will win by 19 points. Um, the first goal scorer will be Will Hoskin Elliott, and the Norm Smith medal would go will go to Steel Sidebottom. So that's 
my predictions um, for the whole game. And look, listen, I think in the run-in, you look at West Coast's run to the finals, like all, all they did, they just played a really, really tight game against Collingwood in the first week of the finals, and that was a finals like like game, lots of pressure and all that. And then obviously they they absolutely smashed Melbourne last week, and geez, like this, you, you, you think about that, and then you look at Collingwood last week, look, listen, they, they beat the Premiership favourites. Last week, which was, which was a very, very big win for them. Um, I think one of the best, I think probably their best win so far this year. And look, listen, if they can do what they did on Friday night, I think they will win this game. Look, I don't think there's any question. I think Collingwood probably deserved to win this game more than West Coast. So that's going to be my prediction. Um, but I, I, I just don't know. Look, listen, you look at Collingwood last Friday night, they took 107 marks to Richmond's. 70 or 80 or 60. I don't know how much they had, but it was something to do with that. Um, but I think this will be a very, very good game. Um, I think it'll be close. Um, I don't think it'll be one of those games where, you know, the game is basically dead by three-quarter time, where basically the winning team just basically kills off the game in the premiership quarter, the third quarter, as I, I, they like to say. But... Um, I think those are my predictions, um, and yeah, so please like the video, comment, subscribe, and may the best team win.